Six stats, hands up, left shoulder forward, kill your fist, elbows in, chin down. Make sure you've got a nice tight defense, elbows in nice and close to the body, don't let them come out, you want to protect your ribs and it also helps you keep your core engaged so you're working your whole body with every punch guys. So we're just going to start in our boxing stance, bouncing in and out. Just going to start off getting a good technique with some nice straight punches. So when I call box, we're going to set, one, two, three, four, five, six, hands up, jump back, okay? It's really important that you set your feet, twist your hips and shoulders behind every punch so your whole body's working together, guys. If you set your feet and punch with upper body only, it's going to really pull your lower back. So it's really important that your hips and shoulders are working together, okay, guys? So hands up nice and high, curl your fist, thumb on the outside, box. One, two, three, four, five, six, jump back. Breathing out with every punch, guys. Box. One, two, three. Okay guys, just a real quick little tutorial on you guys holding pads. Um, it's really important that you hold the pads just like you were boxing guys. A lot of people are taught or shown to hold pads out here. That's teaching your boxer or your opponent to punch across and the whole body is unaligned. So your pads need to be in here like this, imagining that they're gonna punch straight down the middle, proper boxing style. So you wanna hold your pads exactly the same as you would be in your boxing style, okay? So pads up nice and high in front of your face. Now you have gotta turn your hips and shoulders together to catch your punch and you just add a little bit of light resistance. So your hips and shoulders working together. So you're watching your opponent in front of you, his hands, say they're gonna throw 10. You just gently turn your hips and shoulders, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you gotta watch their jab, catch their jab first, and the rest will just flow. Say so we're gonna go left, right, slip, right. Okay guys, so just remember, keep your pads up, elbows in, hips and shoulders, and just turn your body gently behind and add a little bit of resistance on against their punches, okay guys? Really important you don't punch too hard into their gloves, or you don't give them any resistance so they overextend, okay guys? So again, just nice and relaxed. Hands up, turning your hips and shoulders nice and gently, adding a little bit of resistance to their punches, okay guys? If somebody's a really big, hard puncher, then you've got to gauge and give a little bit more resistance to them, but you'll feel that out. Usually just start off with 110 straight punches so you can feel each other out, get your momentum and your timing, and the rest should just flow from there.